There are thousands of acid attack victims in India every year. This is a story about one of the survivor, Lakshmi. Since childhood, I had a dream of becoming a singer and I wanted to participate in the Indian Idol show. I was living a normal happy life. I used to rehearse every day. I had a very good friend in neighborhood. We used to hang out together until when I entered into my team. My best friend's brother started stalking me. He was 32 year old. Every day whenever I used to be with my friend or used to rehearse, he would purposely come out and stare at me and it was very uncomfortable. Initially I did not realize what was going on and ignored it. days passed by but nothing changed yet and one day when i was going out he suddenly came over and proposed me but i ignored and pushed him off that hurt his ego after 3 days when i was standing at a busy bus stand waiting for the bus he accompanying his friend came over and before i realized what was going on around he threw acid over my face and ran away i was in a bad pain I kept screaming for help. No one stepped forward. Everybody ran in the opposite direction. For 10 weeks I was in hospital. The doctors had to remove the entire skin. I was shocked. After 10 weeks When I returned home for the first time I saw myself in front of the mirror I was very depressed for many days and was in no state to meet anybody but what hurt me most was the society's reaction no one was by my side except for my parents I underwent eight surgeries and still more to go before I go for the plastic surgery speak up for justice for freedom your mind for truth make our world a better place and save yourself my main attacker was out on bail within a month and got married and lived a normal life and i lived indoors for almost 8 years and couldn't hope to have a lover or a husband I tried to pick up a job but nobody was willing to hire me. Some said people will be scared if they see you. I tried BBOs, banks, 
parlors but all i got was rejection is it our fault society accepts those who are blind or physically challenged then why not us if you ask me we are worse than the rape victims we seem to have lost our own identity why nothing is done yet i started visiting different ngos and made new friends who had also survived acid attack With their support I filed a petition in the Supreme Court asking for the ban on the sale of acid I hope you never inhabited I do hope you understand don't try to break my confidence I've just learned to move on I started an online petition 27000 people signed it after the hearing in the court my attacker was sentenced for 7 years soon would be free what about us what about our faith though the law has been passed we still get acid bottles in any store easily why are you waiting for your turn my legal fight will continue speak up be heard if you don't say a word everything will remain the same There comes a time when silence is betrayal. What is sexual harassment? Bullying, teasing, stalking, touching, force. It can happen anywhere. In public places, at workplace, in public transport or at home. Where is she safe? 60 to 80% of women are harassed. every year why observe april as sexual assault month why not observe every day and spread awareness your voice your future stop sexual abuse when life changes to be harder change yourself to be stronger break the silence